Yo, what is up guys? It's Kobe, back today with another installment of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Breakdown and Comparison series. In this series, I compare two weapons in their raw and naked form, and in today's video, we'll be covering the SWAT 5.56 and the M8A1. These two are the burst fire assault rifles in Black Ops 2, and as always, I'm going to be going over the stats, characteristics, and just some basic features of each weapon, and just try to figure out which one is better. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Taking a look at the max damages, the SWAT 5.56 is packing 40 points, while the M8A1 is at 35. So both weapons do have the ability to kill the three bullets, however, the three bullet kill range is ridiculously small with the M8A1, about two to three steps away from you, so you might as well chalk this up as a four bullet kill weapon. Now taking a look at the long range damage of the SWAT, this is where it gets kind of confusing. After the patch, the SWAT was supposed to take up to six shots to kill at long ranges, which means we would have to have at the most 19 points of damage long range, but if you want to test out the weapon, it never takes more than four. Even with a silencer, four shots to the chest will take him out, which is obviously a good thing if you do enjoy using this weapon. It is crazy powerful, and if you're accurate with it and have a good shot, it will never take more than two bursts to kill an enemy, even across the map. The long range damage of the M8A1 is also a tad bit confusing because of its inconsistency. I like to think of it as a 4-5 to five bullet kill weapon, but occasionally it just seems like enemies of the freaking Walking Dead are coming at me and eating like 5 bursts rather than 5 bullets, but overall it's still a pretty good medium range weapon. Moving on to the rate of fire, the SWAT is considerably lower at 550 rounds per minute compared to the M8A1 at about 760 rounds per minute. And the difference in RPMs between these two weapons are due to 1, the difference in bursts, the M8A1 fires 4 bullet bursts while the SWAT shoots 3, and 2, the burst delay, which is the time between the bursts. If you've used these weapons, I'm sure you notice how the SWAT fires somewhat like the M16s in the past, while it is a lot easier to spam bullets with the M8, sort of like the Chickum, but just not quite as fast. For their magazines, the M8A1 has more bullets per clip, but the SWAT has more bursts per clip. It has 10 bursts in a standard clip and 13 in extended, while the M8A1 has 8 4 round burst clips and 10 and a half with extended, which is pretty weird. I'm not sure why they didn't make it full 11 bursts and just left it with two extra bullets. I don't know, I thought that was pretty strange. The reload time is also in favor of the SWAT, but just by a little. However, it is worth noting that it is a lot easier to reload cancel with the SWAT, and when done correctly, you can lower it down to like a little over a second, which is crazy fast to reload a weapon. For recoil patterns, these really aren't important at all. They're burst fire, so there's basically zero recoil, and the hit fire spreads are fairly normal. So when it comes down to it, you know, with these weapons, it all comes down to personal ability and personal preference. If you don't have a good shot, I would not recommend either of these weapons, but if you have a pretty decent shot, you know, it still depends on your playstyle. If you like to stay back, keep your gunfights long range, I'd recommend the SWAT because of its ridiculous power. But if you're really aggressive and plan on seeing more guys in like medium to close range, I'd go with the M8 because you can just unload a lot more bullets a lot faster. But what do you guys think? Which gun do you prefer? For me, I'm an M8A1 kind of guy, even though it does drive me crazy sometimes when I get like 50 hit markers. But overall, it's just a better gun for me. But let me know what gun is better for you in the comments down below. But that's the end of this comparison. If you have a suggestion for the next one, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Also, if you enjoyed the video and want to support me and support the channel, likes are always appreciated. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Check out my last two videos if you want, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.